In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up the city water. Uh, there's a different ways to connect the coach, to filling the water and connecting in the campground. Uh, I think I found the way to do it, the easiest way, that, because there's no manual. I don't have a manual for this and on YouTube, there really aren't any big RV, class A, big rigs that show you how to so I'm kind of learning on my own uh, you can post below if I'm wrong about something but but I'll show you what what I did I think I got it working there are a lot of videos on YouTube about how to as it pertains to RVs and camping and that sort of thing well there aren't a lot of the videos done by the big rig and I don't know the reason behind it it's either okay with the assumption that only rich people buy these big rigs, which I'm not one of those. Or the old people who really don't bother putting things on the YouTube. So I, I guess I'm not that old yet. But it's one of those things that you have to find out on your own. So even as simple things as filling the water water tank is not as simple as it as it seems. Uh, I think I figure out the way to have a water in the coach when we're in the campground and and how to hook up. Now I still might have a water valve pressure regulator or something wrong with it or that could be just a safety valve or some sort of valve that is just acting when, that, when, uh, when the tank is full. But for right now I think I got the city water figured out. So I think I got this figured out. When in a campground I have a water hooked up to my real hose that supplies the water for the coach. It does not fill the tanks. So I was just inside. I can use the toilet, run the sink, some water is running fine. So when in the campground, just connect, connect the water. You do not activate the pump. There's no need to run the pump and there's no reason to run the water fill. I'll show you inside what that looks like. So, this is my setup right now. Those are the tanks. But my water fill and my pump are off. So this is the setup when in campground, on city water, I don't need to run the pump, nor the water fill. Now, if I want to fill out my tank while I'm connected to city water, that involves activating the fill valve and this one I might have an issue with but uh, I, I'll try to see what it does so we'll, 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 we'll turn on the we'll turn on the fill valve still don't need the pump pump is still off still don't need it but what's gonna happen next is down below I think as the tank is filling up and it hits the top or there is some kind of pressure regulator uh, the water is going to start releasing at the bottom of the coach. So I just activated my fill, fill valve. Uh, it seems to be working so far. Uh, my water pressure is rather low. Not sure what that means, but or if that is the proper proper pressure to fill up the tank. So. So we'll see, but give it a few more minutes. This is the old fill up valve that I used to do with my old coach when I had a, a south wind many years ago. It was very simple. You open this, you stick the hose in, you fill up it, you could see the tank when it's filled, you close the water off, and that was it. Uh, with this electronic stuff, it's a little bit more difficult, so I'm kind of trying to find my way around it. I turn off the water fill valve uh, and I think the coach's the, uh, overflow valve has stopped leaking. The water pressure is back to 30, which I think is a little bit too low. I'll, uh, I'll make an adjustment and give that up to, oh, probably 60 is safe for, um, for this coach. So right now, I guess we, are, we, we have a city water hookup and uh, Tanks are full, just need to reset the, uh, reset the meter. Now, if you learn anything, give me a thumbs up, or 
if you have something to tell me that I don't know, uh, that I can learn from you, I appreciate that too.